Okay, so I can just turn it over. And then you can come over and turn. And then to train your Yuma Hop, you, know, you use the arrow walks. And now we get very classical. So you would step an elbow. So you would step an elbow. And as you hit the elbow, you jump, you sink. So you step and you sink. And then you use that movement there to set up your next turn there. So you're going to step, elbow, turn, elbow again. So step, elbow, turn, elbow again. So don't do this, elbow, elbow. And it's not it's the not upper body, it's the whole body. So when you step, you drive through, weight clearly on the back leg, and then you turn, this hip drives in, this shoulder drives in, but don't forget this hip here and this shoulder, they go backwards. So you're not going to go like this and hit this one and be loose here because you're pushing back on this side. So this side goes in and you're thinking with this side back. See for me, why would I want to do that? Why can't I just go <clears throat> and hit the guy? Because very often in Wing Chun we've got hand contact, we're looking for that and we're combining two moves. So very often we might have contact, might have your clothing, might have grabbed your, your cuff, the outside of your cloth here, holding you, and then as I turn, I don't want to stretch like so because it'll be weaker. I want to turn and combine the collision force. So I'm like, oh, I've got his cloth. And now I'll, this is, elbow comes tight to my body. And now if I turned, <coughs> I'm having my voice again, if I turned, the whole body would turn. So the whole body weight would start to move him. Whereas if I pull him, and my elbow goes out until it's weak. So you're always like in your first form when you circle, and then you grip, and you come upside down and back. You grip, and you bring your hand like so. Sometimes it's called a pistol grip. You get that kind of grip like so. You can all see this as I'm on my own today. From here you turn, and then your elbow. But as you can see, this one comes back, and then you can reverse the second elbow as well. So these are very simplistic elbows, but let's go on to the one over the top. Well, here he comes in.